Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this is not a brand new way to deck the halls. Nope. It's my Bible. You might even call it a library. See, each one of the smaller books inside fits together to tell one big story. The story of how God loves us so much that he created us from nothing to be his friends. And when we turned our backs on him, he shaped all of history as one big rescue plan to bring us back. I can't think of a more amazing Christmas gift. In fact, Christmas is a key part of God's plan. It's one of the central moments in the entire Bible. And we're gonna unwrap it in four stories, starting off in the Old Testament book of Isaiah. Okay, here, God shares his rescue plan with the prophet Isaiah. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father Who Lives Forever and Prince Who Brings Peace. Who? is this child king Isaiah writes about? Well, no one would know for sure until about, get this, 700 years later. Let's skip forward to find out in the book of Luke. There it is. God's about to send his rescuer, his very own son. So the angel Gabriel delivers the news. But instead of visiting the palace or royal family, Gabriel shows up in a tiny backwater village and shares the incredible message with one very ordinary girl. Now, this girl Mary faces an extraordinary situation, as we see in Luke 2. Mary is going to be the mother of God's son. But before the baby is born, she and Joseph have to make a long road trip to Bethlehem. The inns and spare rooms, they're completely full. So instead of arriving in a cozy hotel room, God's son is born with a barnyard full of animals for company. We wrap up in the next section of Luke 2. God's long-promised rescuer is here, but only a handful of people know it. Until God sends a whole angel choir to a ragtag group of shepherds with the amazing truth that God's son is for everyone. And when the shepherds see Jesus for themselves, well, they can't stop talking about it. I don't know about you, but I feel like decking the halls because Christmas is the best time to celebrate God's amazing gift, his son, Jesus. And I can't wait to see how Christmas plays out for you and me this year. <laughs>